hey guys welcome back to the channel good morning good afternoon good evening uh wherever time zone you're watching the video from i want to say uh, a big appreciation to all of you guys uh for taking time out of your busy schedule to catch the video thank you so so much and uh this uh video actually contains the remaining updates for today uh i just uh wanted to update that one tonight of course and uh before i go forward let me take uh, a quick time to apologize for uh the video i had a bit of an issue with the editing so i'm running a voiceover on the video uh quick apologies for that one so let me go straight to the uh gist in the video and uh the first one uh concerns william just Akon, the captain uh you know that uh oversaw us in the last afcon that of course we would you know consider as a success because we obviously you know reached the final even though we didn't lift the trophy but Econ is in the news uh you know after he spoke with uh, cnn um uh, cnn's amanda davis uh so he was actually talking about uh the contract situation uh, uh be between posterior and uh, nff uh so Econ, uh you know has said that uh you know he and the guys really want coach joseph posero to stay that they want him to renew and continue to be the coach of the nigeria spikers his reason is because uh you know because posero was uh good with the guys uh you know he did well uh you know he actually uh the uh you know carried uh the team up to the final uh which is obviously something really massive as what Akon thinks and of course he uh you know he says that uh he had a conversation with Posero uh after the AFCON and then he wanted to uh you know he was telling Posero that he should say he should renew his contract because he knew or he himself knew that Posero's contract had ended and they were just talking as friends and uh he wanted to talk about that with Posero but Posero said that he would call him that is he would call Akon you know talk about it but he has not he hadn't made, made his decision as at that point uh so this is posero telling echo uh so apparently cnn uh amanda davis was uh trying to find out if Econ already knew whether posero is going to sign or resign um Econ is saying that he also is also is in the dark you know regarding the situation that he doesn't know that it's you know in the hands of posero and of course uh nff um, but what he said is that the players want him to stay to continue uh you know the, the project that he that he you know that he did in afcon and of course if you want uh, you know, if you want to build a really strong team you're going to have to allow uh a manager to you know to be able to stay and build a solid team over long periods that's what Akon uh, has now said but moving on beyond that one let me let you know guys that uh a uh a very fine talented goalkeeper 22 year old uh okonkwo so 22 year old uh, ato okonkwo uh is actually uh a player assigned to arsenal uh of england arsenal that we all know uh but of course this guy has uh now uh, gotten his uh, fifa license or fifa approval to switch his allegiance from being an england uh player to uh, being a nigerian spikers player and he has now said or he has now expressed his interest that he wants uh, to represent uh, his fatherland uh, uh, nigeria and uh, he's now done with his uh with the fifa process of transferring allegiance between two between countries and uh, okonkwo is actually a very talented goalkeeper uh but the reason why we don't know much about him uh, is because he is with a division two uh, side currently on loan from us now uh rexham is on loan uh to at rexham a division two club but uh by the end of the season is going to return to us now and of course uh sort out uh his next move uh you know whether to be sold or to go on loan again but this man is really serious and willing to play for nigerian spy goose and of course this is just you know another one of uh uh the many players that have now declared interest uh for the nigerian super Eagles, uh you know after you know in the previous video of course you remember we talked about uh osho uh gabby osho and of course uh 
uh, Elijah, uh, you know, Adebayo being the guys that have declared interest. So uh, this talented goalkeeper is is now the next person on the list that has declared uh, interest to play for Nigerian Super Eagles. But we'll see how this one goes. He's definitely going to need to work hard, you know, if he is uh, having a look into by NFF, of course, because we know, we know right now that we have Mwab Valley who has proven himself, you know, as the newly found first choice goalkeeper. So if uh, Otto is going to come in, he's going to have to, you know, vie for shit if invited uh, to replace Mwab Valley. Uh, but uh, moving on, guys, let me let you know uh, that Frank Onyeka, you know, has also been talking and um, immediately that Man City game, he obviously had a brief moment with the press and he, uh, he said that, uh, you know, the AFCON that he experienced actually made him strong. He made him a stronger player. And of course, he says that he, come, he came back fit, fitter than he had ever been. And of course, you know, he played that Manchester City game, uh, Brentford versus Man City, which was... Uh, actually played yesterday though they unfortunately lost one nil to man city but it was a tightly uh, contested game and uh henry onyeka uh, was you know completely uh, outstanding in the match he was he started the game and he showed his quality and uh he almost even scored a goal uh, except that you know he just played it straight to uh, ederson uh, but of course he sh uh, you know he was really uh, impressive in that game of course uh, but he's now said that, you know, part of the reason why he, you know, if he was so fit in the Man City game was because of uh, the opportunity that he had to represent Nigeria in AFCON. Of course, you know that uh, he's the only player that started all all of the seven matches in, in the AFCON. And, uh, you know, uh, he's now talk, talked about the fitness that he has gained from it. Uh, but that is that, guys. Let's move on to the next update, which is the one that concerns uh, China Azar Ago. Let me let you know that uh, Ch uh, China Aza Ago has now moved, has now left uh, the Delta Queens and moved to uh, the Saudi Women's Pro League uh, with El Shabab. And uh, right now she's, uh, you know, one of the many uh, Nigerian players who have now switched uh, to the uh, Saudi Arabian uh, Women's uh, League, of course, which is very lucrative, uh, you know, and has a lot of stars, superstars these days. It seems like where the market is at, at the moment, you know, for footballers. Uh, so Ago has now moved there. Yeah, she, she, now, she now makes it three uh, Super Bowl cons, uh players who are there uh, following the, the footsteps footsteps of uh, Asli Plumtree and of course uh, Rita Chikwalu who you know completed uh, their moves uh, you know last year and of course uh, we wish her all the best uh, she's a very talented forward uh, player for Nigeria and uh, you know we are certain that she's going to uh, make us proud uh, there so that, guys those are the updates uh, thank you for watching this one and of course uh, appreciation to all of you who are subscribed to the channel uh, leave your comments uh, regarding any uh, story that you feel connected to. And as always, guys, I uh, thank you so much for uh, stopping by to watch the videos and I uh, invite you to subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. Uh, have a pleasant uh, day.